once you understand what reality is, once you understand what the body actually is in its base form, a waveform information field, think Wi-Fi, then the reasons for things happening in the world of the scene take on a completely different look, different um, reason for why it's happening. So just look at um, the body. The body is a waveform field and it's, uh, it, it's uh, vibrating, oscillating, right? Now, when that oscillation stops, that's what we call death, death of the body. Uh, and, but there is an optimum oscillation which expresses itself in the, in the hologram as health, uh, psychological health, quote, physical health. Anything that, that affects that oscillation in terms of its optimum state is going to have in the hologram, of which it is the information base, a, a, a problem. It's going to be a psychological problem or it's going to be um, a, a, quote, physical problem. And we are now being bombarded with technological frequencies, 5G is the new one, that are bombarding our oscillating waveform field with um, frequencies that are creating increasing disturbances within it. And therefore, we are seeing the, quote, physical health um, consequences of this electromagnetic soup that we're now living in that is getting more um, dense uh, all the time. And of course, the brain communicates and processes information through electricity and frequency. It communicates with the uh, the, the body um, electrically and any frequencies that disturb the harmony of that processing are going to have um, bodily health and psychological effects. Now 5G is a weapon. It's used by law enforcement in America and the military to scatter crowds. They fire a frequency from these big trucks um, at a crowd they want to disperse. And you see, the body is an antenna. DNA is an antenna. The skin is an antenna. We are antennas, that's what we are. We are um, interacting, receiving and transmitting frequencies of information all the time. And what happens with this 5G range uh, crowd scattering technology is the skin picks it up and decodes it as the skin feeling as if it's on fire and people run so that they get out of the frequency range so they their skin doesn't seem as if it's burning this is the stuff this is the frequency range they want to smack out. Okay, it won't have that effect, um, uh, you know, all the time. Of course not. But in, 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 in less than that range of power, it will have enormous uh, potential impact on people's health and on their psychological state. Um, and uh, they, because it doesn't go through dense objects very well, 5G, it means they want antenna boxes all the way down the streets pumping this out and this is the other point the um the goal the end game is what they call a smart grid this is why all this technology almost everything comes out now not even just technology but ways of doing things is called smart and whether it's a way of doing thing uh, something or whether it's technology if it's got smart in it they're all connected to this smart grid and this, the smart grid is going to be, uh, it is, it's, it's unfolding all the time, uh, based on the internet. This is what the internet of things is all about. We're connecting all these technologies, everything basically to the internet. This is all part of this smart grid. And the idea 
is, um, as people like Kurzweil at Google are openly saying, why is he openly saying it? Because the sales pitch is, if, if we allow our brains to be connected to artificial intelligence, we'll become superhuman. We won't, we'll become post-human and subhuman. That's the idea. Um, so, and he's openly saying that once the AI is connected to the brain, uh, human thinking will do less and less, as we call human thinking, and AI will think more until human thinking, as we know it, is virtually negligible, will have been assimilated into AI, basically. That's the idea. And if people think that's far out, they don't understand the scale of psychopathy that we're dealing with in terms of the, the, um, the, the mindset behind all this, um, which, like I say, goes off planet. Um, and uh, out of this reality. So um, you have a situation um, where this smart grid um, is planned to be connected to the human brain for um, everything uh, you call technology being connected to this grid and for the grid to be driven, including the human mind, by artificial intelligence. And as I've said in, in my books, I keep hearing about artificial intelligence, this artificial intelligence, that. I never hear anyone ask, what is artificial intelligence? What is it? And I'll give you a what if, and I say it's absolutely massively more than a what if. What if artificial intelligence, I'm not talking about algorithmic AI, I'm talking about the deep um, AI. What if that level of AI was this non-human force. Connecting AI to the human brain becomes the vehicle for that force to literally assimilate the human mind collectively and individually. Um, I say that's what's happening, but I'm mad. So, you know, just go and make a cup of tea. Uh, but this is the idea, this grid. And the idea is that everything is connected to this grid. Now, if you're gonna do that, this grid communication system has to cover every inch of the planet by none. What's the only way you can do that? From satellite. And here we have now Elon Musk. He's been on the Rogan show. I don't know why Rogan won't have me on when I talk about all the um, subjects that, um, that he talks about and more. Uh, oh, you, you know, discusses in his interviews and more. And don't understand why RT won't have me on when I've been discussing all the stories they talk about for decades. Um, um, I was interviewed by RT, very quickly, I was interviewed by RT out of nowhere. They came along and said, we want to talk to you. So um, I talked to them uh, for about uh, two hours. They were very nice. And they said, oh, we're going to run it about two days. We're going to aim it for two days. It was two and a half months ago. Never, never seen the light of day. So maybe it will one day. But, uh, but you see what I mean, um, you, um, there's a line, you know, if you cross it, then um, a, a postage stamp line. Some people might have a wider postage stamp line, but there's still a line. And if you, if you, don't cro if, if you cross that, then you're not having him on, you know, that sort of thing. But um, what I was saying is uh, Elon Musk, um, he's the man that said AI could be the end of humanity, if you remember. Well, he then, um, create a company called Neuralink to connect the human brain to computers. And he's the one who is sending up with his SpaceX operation, the satellites that are beaming Wi-Fi and 5G back at the Earth to create the all-encompassing web on which um, AI control of humanity is dependent. And the reason that they're rolling out 5G so fast without testing, without independent, independent testing, um, and they've admitted that, they've spent no money on independent testing. The reason they're doing it is because this smart grid to work has to have at least 5G level of communication power. It's essential. So if you had independent research. Some people have done it, not through the industry, but themselves, and found, oh my God, this is absolutely lethal. The reason they're not doing it officially is because if people knew what 5G was and what it could do, then, I mean, people, the public as a whole, they would, um, th 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 there would be a riot. Um, and so they want to keep that from people. 
so that um, this smart grid can happen because without 5G or higher, and, and in China they're talking about 6G now, um, they, this smart grid can't work.